Now, RSI says it chose Mobile because of a low cost of living and great education opportunities. The company also says it wants to create a vibrant tech community in downtown Mobile. Local 15's Darwin Singleton tells us what that means and how the company hopes to accomplish that. Three years ago, a group of women artists had a dream. Create a co-op art gallery in downtown Mobile and sell creations to a hip and appreciative crowd. Artology was born, and they've done okay. But artist Michelle Leach says they could do much better if only... If you don't have a residential base, it's very difficult for, for businesses to survive. Today, Michelle's wish may have been granted thanks to this man and the computer tech company he runs. We think we can be a huge catalyst to get that going. We've seen it. We've done that in Augusta, Georgia. Atlanta-based RSI is bringing 100 high-tech jobs to Mobile, but not just anywhere in Mobile. They insist on locating downtown. Turns out RSI really isn't interested in going anywhere else. Why? Because they say the tech-savvy young people that they want craves what a downtown has to offer. And they believe Mobile is ready. CEO Monty Hamilton says they'll be back in about two weeks to start narrowing the properties on their list. But RSI won't be waiting for their new headquarters to be completed before opening shop. I think a lot of people might remember it as Trinity's Bar and Grill. Longtime residents of Mobile will remember the old Trinity's building as one of the only places you could go to find nightlife downtown before the redevelopment of Dolphin Street. Now it will be the temporary headquarters for a company that could herald the next evolution of downtown. 100 young people who not only play downtown, but will work and live downtown. And that works for Michelle and Artology. We would love it. We would love it. In Mobile, Darwin Singleton, Local 15 News.